Hey, bro. Hey, what's up, man? Have you heard this new Lunker Hunt prop fish bait? No, I have not heard of that bait. Yeah, apparently it came out in iCast 2017 and I'd never heard of it. And this is my first time seeing it. I saw it at Walmart, I just had to have it. It looks like a frog and a whopper plopper had a baby and this is what they had. It looks like a soft fish with hooks going over the top, but the tail goes like a prop. It's really cool. You wanna see it? Here, catch. Oh. going on all your people welcome back to the channel guys i'm eric dark welcome back to another episode of dark girl action and today guys we're talking about this cool little bait right here oh y'all can't see it right here <laughs> and this is the lunker hunt prop fish this is a top water bait made by lunker hunt and it also has a little tiny prop in the back of it that spins just like a whopper plopper does so basically this is like if a frog top water frog and a whopper plopper had a baby this would be the baby that they made pretty much it is um uh, it's a very interesting bait uh, to say the least i've never fished this before i've only heard stories about these baits and um saw it at walmart today and i had to pick it up for uh it was 6.97 they haven't put a tag on it like it was marked down but i'm pretty sure that was the actual price of the bait was 6.97 but um it's a really cool bait here on the side of it it tells you all the actions fishing across silly pads stuff like that of course the prop you know does the whole action it's got the basic frog hook the two prong on the back so really good things about this apparently iCast 2017 this was one of the main baits on the floor that they were talking about but yet i never heard of it so let's go ahead and take a look at this uh really cool packaging by the way by lunker hunt you know no surprise there always package their stuff really really cool but uh yeah this is the bait this is um uh, right there you can kind of see it looks like a yeah, bluegill imitation bait with a uh whopper plopper tail little paddle tail prop tail and it's a very, very soft plastic, just like a frog, maybe even a little bit softer. Maybe not as durable, but uh, look at those hooks, guys. Like, bam, just right there. They just pop out. Really, really good hooks and uh, sharpness test. Really sharp. Really, really sharp. Good hooks. Really good hooks. Huh. Okay, so first impressions on this bait is it's uh, it's really nice. It reminds me of a lot like a frog, and I love the prop tail. I really, 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 really do. I think that prop tail, especially in open water, is going to make a lot of noise, a lot of commotion on top, which is really going to trigger those top water bites, especially now here in Texas. We are in the peak of summertime. The water levels have went up well above 70. Like, it's like living next to a volcano here in Texas, guys. It's insane. But the top water bite is on. So now currently would be the prime time to go ahead and toss this bad boy and see what he's all about. So guys, enough talk. Let's go to part two of the video, which is the demonstration. So we're gonna, we're gonna go out to the pond and we're gonna see what this bad boy does in the water, how it looks, how it stands up, the action and all that. So um, yeah, enough talk guys. Let's go test this bad boy out. What do you say? What do you say? All right, so we're putting the lunker hood on. If I can get it out of this tight, box they put it in don't need any of that okay this is it wow it is squishy just like a frog i actually thought it was gonna be a hard bait but no that is pretty much a top water frog had a baby with a whopper plopper right there all right so i'm gonna do a uh, pretty strong knot on this since i'm gonna be throwing it just like a top water with 30 pound braided line and a really, really strong knot. That way, just in case a big fish wants to blow up on this, which would blow my mind, we will not, we will be prepared. Drop this, this ends right here. All right, there we go. Put that back in there. Throw that string away whenever I get a chance. Never leave your string around a pond that has ducks and actual live animals because they will do something stupid with the string, I'm sure. So never leave that just sitting there. Okay, so first cast with this, there is some grassy areas over here. So I'm just going to give it a toss and see how it does moving through the grass, first of all. Because if it's a topwater bait, it should be able to go 
across the top of water fairly easy. Let's see. Okay, went across it, did not get caught. Oh boy, guys. It didn't catch any grass. Oh boy. See, my first fear was when I threw this is, oh, this is gonna definitely catch grass. It's one of the hooks is on the bottom, but huh, negative. Negative, my friends. Oh, wow, okay, hold up. Let me give it more cast just for, uh, just to check. I hope y'all can see this. I can't really zoom it in on the GoPro, but uh, it looks just like a Whopper Plopper. Has the same propelling uh, noise action. Goes across the grass really, really easy. And just keeps on trucking, I like it. I love that the bait like pretty much weighs nothing. It's like the super soft plastic material but you can just chunk it just like a frog and get really good distance and good casting range, which is perfect. Okay, okay, so now we know how it casts. We know it doesn't catch grass like I thought it would. Now it's time to go back over here to the edge where there's some lilies at, some really thick grass. I'm talking where the swamp donkeys hide, y'all. I'm gonna go give this a little cast a -roo. Here in this little grassy area, up in under the trees, something's bound to come get this, right? I mean, I know I would. Gotta have faith. Faith in the bait. I have faith in the bait. Is it supposed to spin like that? <laughs> Hold on, let me get you a little better angle so y'all can see how this actually uh, fishes. Hold on. Y'all see it just looks like it's going in circles. It's just twisting. Very, very weird bait. I don't know why it's twisting like that. It wasn't earlier, but now it's completely twisting circles. I don't know if the propeller got stuck, but look at that. It just twists all the way around. <laughs> Hold on, let me see. Did the propeller get stuck? No. The propeller is uh, still good. It's got some grass in it. Would that really affect it? Mm -hmm. You can see there's like a little tiny bit of grass in there. But I don't think that should affect the propeller. And it still spins, so I don't know. All right, y'all, so first spot right over here in this old cove with the buzz bait right here with all this grass. And I've run into this little issue. Um, I don't know if y'all can see or if it'll even focus. It probably won't come on focus for me. Hold on. Let me try this. Okay, focus, focus. Okay, see the tail, guys? Right here in this little space right here in that tail. This grass is getting stuck in there, which is causing the propeller to stop rotating, but instead it's causing the entire bait to rotate like this, which, I mean, I guess I can kind of understand how it happened, but it's not supposed to happen. The bait is supposed to stay completely straight up like this. I mean, to the side like this and grow across the water while the propel moves, not the entire bait spinning like this. What is gonna happen when the entire bait is spinning like this is you're not gonna know where those hooks are supposed to be because they're supposed to be sideways like this and when you set the hook, it goes straight into the side of the fish's mouth or straight up on top so it goes in the top. Now if it's spinning like this, your hook ratio is gonna be all over the place and you're not gonna know when you set that hook where those hooks are gonna go in that bass. So that is a really big problem so far with this bait. So that is already my first con with the Lunker Hunt propeller fish. I really hope it stops. We're gonna go out here, down here a little bit more to some open water areas with a little bit less grass and see if it does better out there and if it performs better. But uh, let's go see. Uh, only thing we can do is keep testing just to see if it gets better. I really hope it does. I had a lot of, I'm not gonna say that. I did not really have a lot of high hopes for this bait to begin with, but I always like being proven wrong and finding out that baits are actually way better than I thought. So we're gonna keep throwing it, we're gonna keep testing it. I really hope the spinning stops, but we will see. So let's keep moving. Oh guys, guys, guys. Okay, so we just got back from the pond. Um, had a few issues out there that y'all already saw. Uh, first issue was 
when fishing the prop bait around mossy grassy areas we had this little issue right here that in the gear of the tail here you so y'all can see that right there the gear of the tail right here where the prop tail is supposed to spin right there look at this yeah all that loose moss and grass was getting stuck in the prop making it not spin it would stop the prop from spinning but get this the bait wouldn't stop spinning instead of just the tail spinning it'd go <laughs> and just keep spinning them just like that across the water and it really kind of frustrated me because i'd every cast i'd pull it in take all the moss out of the gear throw it back out there it'd do good hit some grass and then freeze up again and just start completely twisting now what that twisting is gonna do and it is gonna really frustrate you is it's gonna make your whole bait spin so you if a fish does hit it on top water you're going to have no idea where the hook placement is going to be because your whole bait is going to be like this. So I'm, I'm guessing that probably about 50% of the strikes you're going to have while your bait is doing that, you are going to miss. So obviously this bait was not designed to fish around mossy areas. Okay, they didn't, they put mossy areas, they just put pads. Okay, so yes, you can fish in pads. Pads would be no problem because you cannot... I really severely doubt you can, you know, get a pad piece up in this prop. So I think as far as pad goes, you'll be good. Now, if you can fish in a grassy area, but the grass isn't on top water, it's like right below it, you're good. Once again, just do not throw this bait in really grassy, mossy top water areas, if you know what I mean. So anywhere else, I'm pretty sure this bait will be superb at, it will dominate at, it will get you those top water bites that you really, really need. It's just... <laughs> I, I I don't know. I'm still thinking right now. I, I mean, fishing, fishing those mossy areas would be perfect for this bait, but with the prop tail getting stuck like that, you know, that kind of just takes away that whole genre of fishing right there is mossy topwater areas. But like I said, if you're fishing, fishing just pads or uh, grass right below the water uh, level, you're good. Perfect time to fish this bait. So all in all, uh, price... $6.97, I believe you can get it cheaper somewhere else, probably like a discount uh, bait and tackle store. You can probably just find this bait for like four bucks. Perfect price for four bucks. Um, action, the action is great. The action is superb. Uh, it does exactly what it's advertised to do. It does has a really good popping prop motion. It makes those bubble sounds. It goes straight across the water. Good action, good commotion. So in the right scenario, in the right environment, throwing this bait, absolutely perfect. You can't go wrong. But as far as my example today at that pond fishing, that mossy area that I thought it'd be good at, not so good at because you're gonna have that little prop issue. But um, other than that, great bait, love it. Definitely recommend it. If any of y'all ever fish this bait before, please let me know in the comments below what your experience is with this bait. But guys, that is it for today. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If y'all want to see more baits and uh, bait talk like this on Tuesdays, please uh, leave a comment below saying you want to hear more about baits on Tuesdays. And, you know, I'll probably do it because I like uh, making people happy. <laughs> but, guys, that is it for today. I really hope y'all enjoyed the video. Once again, this is the Prop Fish by Lunker Hunt. Definitely go check it out if you haven't already. Let me know if you catch anything on it. That way I know what I'm doing wrong. But guys, I love y'all. Y'all keep it real. If you haven't already, please make sure to like and subscribe to the Dark Relaxion channel. Hit that little notification bell down there for me, please. That way you get notified as soon as a video drops. Please hit that like button so YouTube will start advertising my videos to a more wide range of people. I love you. Y'all keep it real. I will catch y'all on the next one. Peace.